Hi, I'm Omid and I'm here to show you how to refer to columns in different way in Power Query. Follow with me to learn how to refer a column directly or indirectly based on the order. In the first way, you can pick the preferred columns by holding control and click on the column, right click on one of them and pick remove other columns. So other columns are removed and the selected column are remained in the result table. This is the formula that use table.selectColumns. You can modify it here instead of 2002, let's say 2020 and see the result. Yeah, 2020 would be picked. If you want to remove just two or three columns, you can select the desired column for removing also, right click on one of them and pick remove columns. See the result. The selected columns are removed. See, table.remove columns is the function that used. You can also directly refer to the columns by pressing on FX and then mention the column names on the square bracket. Let's write says 2000 and see the result. Yeah, but it's result in list, not in a table. If you want to show the result in type of table, just put two square bracket inside each other and see the result. Yeah, this is in type table. And you are allowed to add as much as columns you prefer. For example, let's say also says 2020. And yeah, we have a table including both the columns. Says 2000, says 2020. If you want to select a column, based on its order, for example, the second column or third columns, you can use another function. So let's do the same. I'm going to select this column, right click on it and say remove other column. This is the formula. I just need to replace this part with the name of the second column. So let's click on FX. I will use source here also. Source is the name of the first step. Yeah, this is the first step. Then I will put it in the formula. Let's put it for table column name. Yeah, it's result in the all the column names. And if you want to pick the name of the, for example, second column, you just need to put curly bracket. And for the second one, just put one because the indexing start from one. So if I press OK, it result in 2000, which is the name of second column in the source table. So back here, I will copy this part and then remove it and put it here instead of this. And yeah, if I put one, it returns the second columns. If I put four, it return the fifth column. If I put zero, it returns the first columns. So by using table.column names as the same as presented here, you can select the columns based on the order. There is another way that you can do the same. Actually, there is an amazing function, namely table to columns. So let's press FX and say put this as the input value for table to columns. This is the function. So it's provide a list including several sublists. Actually one sublist for each column. So this is the first column of table, second, and the same for others. Like the previous example, you just need to use curly bracket and for example, put four to result in the fifth column. So let's see. Yeah, this is the value of fifth columns. But as you can see, it doesn't include the column title because it is in type list. It's not in type table. Similarly, if you want to extract the first five column or the last five column, there are another function that you can use. See, this is table.column names. By doing this, I pick the fifth columns. So instead of this, I'm going to select least first n 
This is the function that you can filter the first n numbers in a list. This is list of column names. I'm going to pick five to extract the first five column names from the, this one. List dot sorry select list dot first and yeah, it's going to select first five columns. And if I replace this by remove first n, it's going to remove first five column on the tables. And the same for the last column. If you want to remove the last column, just use list dot remove last n. And see the last five columns are removed is 2020 while the source table including 2000 to 25.